This is Lin Qi, brush painting for beginners. Today we're going to uh, do white uh, hollyhocks on olive colors single shun paper. The paper is uh, easy to control the moisture but very sensitive to the color. So I choose the the, our 12 color companion set, it seems more transparent than any other Chinese watercolor. And then uh, I also use our chip yellow, indigo green, uh, and um, ink for the leaves. And um, I have Sakura white and bleed proof white for the flower. I also will show you that I have done some with uh, silver mixed in the um, uh, bleed proof white to get that iridescent color if you choose to do so. And I show you the two samples. The first one is just simple bleed proof white and Sakura White. So Sakura White is the base, Bleed Proof White is the tip top. The second one, I use um, a little bit silver in the Bleed Proof White to get that iridescent color. So for the demonstration, purpose, I'm just going to use very simple um, Sakura white and then bleed proof white. So I want to show you how to mix the color for all the different elements. The first we are going to do is that we're going to use a, a palette and then I will mix the Sakura white. So it's kind of milky light solution. And then I will use the bleed proof white stick. I'm going to have two section with this. One is going to mix it with yellow for the center of the flower. The other just for keep it um, straight for the petal. And then there is a kind of yellow green. It's very essential for the for the flower, I use the green in the, two green in this. And ochre, keep it thick. And on the second one, it's a lighter one, which I then I add a little bit Sakura white to make a lighter green. And then the center accent, center part of the flower, I'm using um, the carmine. with red and purple. This is the center of the flower. And for the flower bud, I just use carmine. Yeah, I 
I'm going to use a little bit yellow for the center. And then I'm using some vermilion also for the center. So this is the palette I'm going to use. Plus the indigo, yellow, green, and ink for the leaves. All right, so we're going to start with this. So the brush I'm using is the Lotus Petal um, for the flower petal, and then the Full Lotus for the leaves, and um, The mountain horse vine for the uh, fold of the um, petal and uh, flow for the uh, stem and then also a flower bud. So let's get started. Oh, and uh, I think I don't need happy dog. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the flower. So I have a little bit green on my the body of the and then Sakura white and then bleed proof white. So always blend so it doesn't get too pasty. So the first petal. So I'm using the flow for the center. So I load the bleed proof white with a little yellow and a little orange. So happy dog to build the center. And then I change my, um, to Lotus petal to add the shade of the center. So here and here and then here and here. And that color was the carmine red and purple combination. Right. All right, so then uh, we will do the next flower. The same, Sakura white with bleed proof white. And this is a little bit different as far as the shape wise. So it's um, two petal and this. So that's kind of make a U shape. Flow for the center, bleed through white with yellow and vermilion. Build the center.
And then I use the Lotus petal brush and clean up the the tip so so I can load the dark purple and the thing is that make sure you don't wash the whole brush because you do want a little bit white in there to blend. And then while I'm at it, um, I have this light green color. I'm loading the little bit. So what I do is I soften all the petals. So I saw some of OAS Life posting. When you use bleed proof white, you don't soften it and then it gets pretty pasty. So then I have my full lotus brush to make the leaf. These make leaves have five um, sections and then it's pretty pasty, um, pretty big. I'm sorry, not pasty. So I have yellow, green, indigo, indigo, and then ink. Oh, um, the ink I, I use is the um, best bottle ink. So, goofed up a little bit here. It's always hard to get perfect when you are in filming mode. So Evan can film the finished piece from the other one that I didn't. Okay, so then I'm using the Flow brush, use first the light green, the the screen, and then I'm going and then a little bit red on the tip. So this is the holder for the flower bud. And then I use the <clears throat> Sakura White, tip with the Carmine. And then add a little bit on the side. Right, so then I rinse my um, throat brush with the green and add a little ink and a little red.
All right, and then I'm using mountain horse fine with the little green with bleed proof white and add some fold to the the fold of the flower petal. I think that's it. I hope you have fun with this. Mm -hmm.